Hey guys, Gamer YouTube here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Halo 4 Gus Warthog. Now, here it is. We're going to be reviewing the packaging like always first, and I should probably stop saying that at every beginning of a video. And so, it does do a very great display of the Gus Warthog, and you do, in fact, actually do get a Promethean Knight. So, here it is. You see the little Gus Warthog. Yeah, pause the video if you really want to look at it. And there's the Promethean, and it does show uh, some stuff that I will be talking about later. And it does have lights and sounds, like it says. And it's from the new Halo 4 series. You can't see it because of how big the packaging is again. It's as tall as the elephant, and it says new, and a bunch of other languages, and it says a bunch of other stuff. So at the top, it just shows what you get, the characters, which is two Spartans, a warrior, and a, let's see here, a warrior and a, Pathfinder, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Path, Pathfinder, probably, and it says a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, so, on the back now, we got to look at the Gus Warthog again. That just shows uh, the top part, shows that it moves, and it shows it has lights and sounds. So it's the front part, and then it shows the guys fighting in a bunch of other available sets, and a bunch of information that there's pretty much no point of waiting. Because if you ever played Halo, you know. So, let's bring in the guys. First, we'll start with... Probably the only reason you bought this set is for this guy. The Promethean Knight. And it's a dark gray with black and orange yellow to it. He has his Promethean sword, which has a little hook at the end. And he has his little, I'm going to call it suppressed machine gun right there. And you can see his little face. And you could say, or you can see, if I put the arms down, you can see his little mini arms. And of course, on the back, you can open these to pretty much that degree. So if you move it just a little bit up, it looks very scary. And of course, the feet are two studs. Instead of just being like one stud like they normally are for the minifigures. And if you see on this back, you see this kind of like hole area. And if you have a watcher, sadly I did have a watcher. It kind of got broke from a long time ago. So you open it up and you could place it inside of there. This one does not have a watcher though. So if you want a watcher, you're going to have to buy one separately. So you just, you could probably, all you really have to do is just, you see those little dots in there. You'll see like little studs that are sticking up. You just put the little watcher's wings on there, and that's it. And you kind of fiddle with it until it shuts right. So, there's the watcher. Let's set him down. And I had to pause the video so I could set him down. Cause it took a little bit because his back is way too big. Now let's roll in the big part of this review. And it's actually the Gus Warthog. The actual Gus Warthog from Halo 4, which looks great. And it does have lights and sounds, so I will show you. Right now, I'm not going to show you all the sounds. But you just simply press on the hood. There's the driving sound, or the starting up. That's the gust sound. And that's a driving around. And that's the reloading. And the firing. And that's pretty much all the sounds. It does do great at rolling. Like a matter of fact, if I, I'm going to put that guy over there because I don't feel like setting him up back again. Uh, you just push it. There. Goes perfectly. It does have great suspension, so if you actually do pick it off the ground, the wheels go down pretty well. And there's this little Gus that I will now aim at the camera. And of course I got the wrong sound. That here, that happens. There. The camera is now blown up. Uh, but, let's get the guys. And if they want to come out... Yeah, that turret is very movable. Since the new models. And this guy... Let's just get him... 
into appropriate looking form. So we'll go with the warrior first. So here's the warrior, obviously it's just a really small mold. This guy's little shoulder blades. Perfect. And he got his little arm pieces and stuff. New articulation system is not in this set, so this is the old ones. The old articulation system, they cannot move very well. And he got his little back, which is head in this set also can move very easily instead of like the new articulation system where they can't and there so the warrior if you ever played Halo 4 you know so here's the new uh, mold I've ever seen and it is the Pathfinder I did unlock this I just never used it because the way it looked so here it is Kind of block so you can focus on it, camera. Perfect. There. <coughs> there, you can see its little visor. You can see its arm pieces and everything like that. You can see his little bend in his knees. As a matter of fact, let's try something here. Ooh, we could zoom in. Finally figured that out. So. And let's press right here. And you can see the back of this guy. Sorry if it looks a little long. Yeah, this, this guy doesn't really look good. His helmet is way too, uh. It looks way too messed up. And I think the family's home, but... Zoom out. God, no. Uh, that's a problem, by the way. This Gus thing does not want to stay on at all. Yeah, but it's fine. So here's the Gus cannon. It is completely movable in every way possible. And look, it can go straight back up. The little front new kind of color. But the warthogs, and there's the little things, and there's pretty much everything. The bottom, it does, ooh, the chair fell out. But, yeah, the bottom. And, problem, if you want to put one of the guys in to the chairs, they especially cannot have a book bag on, and they especially can't be the new articulation system, because this guy won't fit properly without breaking the chair, so... And the last thing to show you, the back is actually pretty cool looking and it does have the gas tanks on it. Which I believe it is missing one gas tank which is supposed to be sideways right here. Or this is supposed to be sideways. I don't quite remember. And, actually let's see. Nope. I'm sorry. They're actually they supposed to have that. It's a little weird looking but this thing is actually made to scale with my real, like, rife, or real life looking one. The one that's actually not made out of Mega Bloks. Here it is. Let's get you out of here. This is not a gust, though. This is a machine gunner. Um. So here they are. I had the camera focus in. Yeah, they look pretty good. So actually comparing detail, this is a desert. Not camo, like you would expect, and it's very different for me. It's very different to see this. Ah, of course, the Gus is not on right. Why is it never? But so I think the Warthog with the Spartans are gonna win, and I'll show you the guns. I almost forgot about that. You get one railgun. You have one railgun. And that's pretty much one railgun. It's a black colored one. And then you get a shotgun. A Halo 3 version of shotgun. Halo Wars version, actually. So not a Halo 4 shotgun, but a Halo 4 railgun. 
I would pretty much call it a grenade launcher, but, um, before I get interrupted badly, this is Gamer YouTube, and I am signing out. And let's go zoom in on something on the Warthog. I forgot to show you. There is a little light right there above the windshield. Bye-bye. Goodbye.